This is an example of how to run a part on the CNC lathe. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the program that we're going to actually be machining. It's going to be a turning example. Pull this up. Here's our print. And the overall diameter, the, well, the length of this part right here is 2.62. And we have a diameter of my largest diameter of 2.38. And so we're going to just kind of minimize this or pull it off to the side and pull up a word pad. Actually, let's just go ahead and minimize that. Pull up notepad. Okay, I want to make sure that my font is large enough where we can see. We're going to go with Arial, regular, and a 16 font. That's okay. Uh, turn on our caps. And the very first line of code is going to be a G90 and a G70. We'll enter that, and we're going to be using tool number three. That's going to be a T03 tool three, and we're going to have another 03 for offset three. Enter that. Our next line of code is going to be a um, M43, which happens to be our high gear range. We enter that. Now we're going to uh, give it a G97. A G97 is constant RPMs. Give it a space in S maybe about 500 RPMs or revolutions per minute. And our M3 will turn our spindle on in a clockwise direction. Now we're going to rapid to our start point. So that's going to be a G0. And our X is going to be our end feed. And I need to take a look at this one more time here. And the largest diameter is 2.38. So I'm going to wrap it within 2.400. X is going to be 2.4. And I'm going to take Z, um, maybe 0.1 or 100 thousandths in the positive direction. Now, let's take a look at this. Here's where our origin is going to be, right there at this point. So anything in the right-hand side is going to be positive. Anything to the left of this line is going to be going negative. That's the reason why I gave it a positive 1. Next thing, we'll go ahead and go ahead and um, machine this part. If I hit Enter, give it a G1 for a straight line feed. I'm going to take X2 on the two point, what was it? 2.38 X 2.38 and give it a feed rate feed point zero zero six that's six thousandths per revolution. Enter that and now we're going to take Z minus and it didn't tell us how far we were going back beyond the this point right here, 2.62, so I'm just going to take it like three and a quarter for an inch, or 3.25. Now, we've already taken it to this diameter here of uh, 2.38, so I want to back off that surface so I don't scrape, scrape the surface on the way back. So that's going to be a G0 command, and we're going to say X, let's go a little larger, diameter net on um, 2.38, let's take 2.4. Enter that and take, now I can take Z to zero and enter it as well. Let's just go ahead and take it to the next diameter. My next diameter here is 1.75. Of course we can't take it that much at one time, but uh, you'll get the idea of what's, what's going on. 1.75. If I go to G, 1 x 1.75 I do not need to give it a feed rate now because in the previous line up here I gave it a, a 6 thousandths per ref so that's modal that means that it's already been expressed one time I do not need to give it again now I'm going to take Z minus how far back are we going this time we're going back to a distance of two and a quarter or two point nope we're taking this one to 2.62 two. 
because we're going for this 1.75 diameter. Okay, 2.62. And we're through with that. Let's back off this surface, G0. Let's back it off to maybe 1.8. Enter that and take Z to back to 0. Now we can shoot for the next diameter. Our next diameter and our next length is going to be 2 and a quarter. And the diameter is going to be 1.38. Let me write this down so I don't have to keep toggling back and forth. 2.8. Two five and a diameter of one point three eight. Okay. Now that we've got that, I say G one, and I take X. I'll just drop my pad to a diameter of one point three eight. Enter that. Now I'm going to say Z minus 2.25 and enter that. G0, we're going to back off the surface. So that'll be 2. Point, maybe 3. Enter that and Z goes to 0. All right, now we have established this diameter and this length. The last thing we're going to do is go down to a diameter of 0.88 and to a length of negative 1.03. Uh, 1.03 is my length. So now we're going to go to G1. And we're going to say X, take me to a diameter of 0.88. Now we're going to go Z minus 1.03. And enter that. Now I'm actually I'm through with it, so I'm going to say G0. I'm going to take X maybe all the way up to maybe 3.0. And now I'm going to take Z to maybe 1.0. And enter that. Now, all I have to do is end the program, so I need to cancel my tool offset, give it a T0, that cancels the offset, an M5 turns my spindle off, and an M2 ends the program. And that's pretty much that. Of course, like I said, you cannot take all of this at one time, so, you know, uh, we would be doing multiple passes for each one of these diameters. That's it.